This will be the biggest strike on Britain's railways since the 1980s, bringing the network close to a standstill. 80% of services across the country will be either cancelled or severely disrupted. There will be picket lines outside stations and 50,000 rail workers will walk out after negotiations broke down. Our members need a pay rise. Many of them haven't had a pay rise for two to three years. We've got no uh, agreement on job security, so we're facing compulsory redundancies and we want a guarantee of no compulsory redundancies. These strikes begin exactly two weeks today, for three days on the 21st of June, 23rd and the 25th. As well as network rail workers, 13 train operators are joining in with this industrial action. Even those operators not taking part in the strike, for example, ScotRail here at Glasgow Central Station, will still be affected because they rely on signalers and station managers, for example, who work for Network Rail. This will be huge disruption affecting every part of Britain's railway network. The Transport Secretary accuses the RMT union of jumping the gun and the body that represents Britain's rail industry is urging striking workers to think again. No one wins out of strikes. So it's really important we get back round the table and try and resolve this matter. Uh, striking will only disadvantage the customers, uh, the economy and staff themselves. Britain hasn't seen train strikes on such a scale for more than three decades. That was before the days of privatisation, when British Rail owned and operated almost the entire network. Now about five million people make a train journey on any given day. I travel a lot. Uh, I travel to Edinburgh for work, so yeah. So you're going to be disrupted? Yeah, I am. It's not going to be great anyway, you know, won't be able to get to work. Yeah, it's all about fair pay. If I was in that um, position, I'll probably strike as well. This strike will coincide with major events like Glastonbury, but the rail unions say they are doing it to fight for jobs. And so today's announcement is the customer's two weeks notice to make other plans. Peter Smith, News at 10.